welcome. Marvellous sound of applause from a very lively audience here. A group of people have come to us from Edgeworthstown in County Longford. It's a town with two names and I hope to find out a little bit more about that presently. But first I want to talk to the lady who's probably the queen age-wise. Are you Mrs. Grimes? Yes, Mrs. Grimes. Yes. Now how old are you left? I'm 75. 75? Yes. I believe you've got 4,317 <laughs> grandchildren. I haven't that many. <laughs> slightly less than that. Sli slightly less. Yeah. I have 27 grandchildren. 27? And 16 great grandchildren. Really? Do you ever all get together in a clan, as it were? Oh, right? yes, we do. Yeah. Now, what about Edgeworth Town itself? I believe it, it really is a town with two names, isn't it? Oh, yes. How did Edgeworth that come about? Well, Mostrin, they say, is the Irish of it. Yes. But I don't know. We all have went by Edgeworth Town anyway. Yes. Have you lived there all of your life? All of my life. I was born there and yeah. still there. Did you ever move out of Ireland at all anywhere? Never. Ever want to do that? No, never. I was always happy where I was. Now, what <coughs> about having um, your actual number of children, your, your own children, how I'm many? Seven. Seven? Yeah. And that multiplied into all those all grandchildren those and great grandchildren. Yes. How long um, were you married? Well, I uh, celebrated my 50th uh, four ye five years ago. Yes. Is your husband still alive? No, he died shortly after that, and he died. Yeah. I'm still here. <laughs> you are indeed, and looking well. But, but what actually keeps a marriage together over half a century? Well, I don't know. I was always happy anyway. We, were, we never had a terrible lot, but still we always had yeah. plenty. We had happiness. And I presume, like anybody else, you, yeah. you'd, have, you'd have your little differences yeah. of opinion. Yeah, oh, we had, of course. Yeah. But what about yeah. the business of saying I'm sorry? Who was the first that said it in your house? Oh, well, I think uh, I, I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> and would, would you advise that for the keeping of a marriage together? Oh, yes, I would. Would you? Yeah. yeah. If you had your time over again, would you do the same again? Oh, I'd do the same again. And would you want to live in Edgeworth Town for oh, the rest? Oh, yes. Would I'd you? never want to leave it. Yeah. Now, there's a castle in Edgeworth Town, isn't there? Can anyone tell me about the castle? Where's Babs Fly? There you are, with yeah. the bar on. Yeah. What about that castle there? I don't know anything. Do you know anything yeah, at no, all about not, it? No, really, sorry, no. But you know about the bar on, well, don't you? Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make noise. <laughs> Just to make noise. Just to make Where noise. did you get that one? My father made it. And how long have you had it? Oh, I have it since I was a child. Yeah. What, what is the skin on it? What is it's the a goat skin, made from goat skin. He used to make them. And did he actually teach you how to play it? Well, I taught myself sort of thing, looking at him. Yeah. See, when we look at it now, we see the top of it, and, and I've spent all my life looking at bow rods. I've never seen the back of them. <laughs> What's at the back? Oh, well, it, it, oh come on, turn it it's, over. It's, it's bent. I see. It's like myself. <laughs> Okay, make some of the noise now. Ah, oh, come on, a little bit oh, more than that. Music, you know, ah, but go on, just play another couple of seconds of it. <laughs> no, Great sound. Isn't it? Music. Yeah, no, no, it's very nice actually. I've never seen a woman playing one before. Although I think the girl with the bards plays it, doesn't she? That's right. Now, let me see, who else have we? Um, Mrs. Grimes, I've talked to. Is, is Kathleen Malvery here? Yes. yes. Kathleen. Yeah. Right, Kathleen. Now, let me see. Your uncle actually gave the manor house to the nuns, didn't he, some years ago? Yeah. Where was he from? He was from Edgerstown. Yes. But he was well, living He went outside. to America when he was young, very young. Yeah. And he went to school in there, college. Yes. And he must have done pretty well he there. He did, didn't he did it? very well. When, a, when actually did he hand over the manor house? Forty-seven or eight years ago. As far back as that. Yeah. And he gave it to which well, he, order? He, he, no, he bought it in that forty-seven or forty-eight years ago. Yeah. He gave it over in forty-seven to the nuns. Yes. And what are they running it as? A nursing home. Yeah. Now is that uncle still alive? No, no, he's long dead. Passed away. Yeah. Is is his name remembered in the town? He is. He is an Evia Bernard Luna. No, no. Yeah. And what about the nuns themselves? Do you have much contact with them? Now? Well. Not very much, only to meet them now yeah. and then. And they use it as what? As a nursing home. And they had a secondary school in it before they started the nursing home. Yeah. And it, um, it was very good. Do they keep it in good order, good oh, condition? Oh, they keep it perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. But that man used to come over every oh, time every and year. use that as a holiday home. Yeah, sort of as a thing. holiday home. Yeah. When nice when people it. do things like that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. OK, I think it's time that we uh, had a, a listen to Anne, because Anne always has her own very special spot in the programme, so it's all yours.
Fine. Well, the first thing I want to do is to say that the group who are here with us today, all our friends, they want to send their thanks to the people of the parish of Edgeworthstown and thank them for all their support and help over the years. And also want to include all their friends who couldn't come up with them today. So they're the first lot who have requests. Now, I had also got a lovely card this week and it came from the Connors in Galway. Now, they were one of the very lucky couples who won a weekend holiday for two from the Town and Country Homes Association in Cashel. You may remember that some weeks ago we had the Lawrences on from Cashel and they told us that they were offering free weekend holidays and indeed they gave about 50 people had holidays but the Connors I want to just tell you about them because they stayed with Pierce and Mary Buckley in Clonmel Road in Kerr and in Kerr and they just want to say thank you to both of you for the wonderful holiday they said there was excellent food friendly atmosphere open fire Gaelic music and great singing from Pierce so indeed what more could they want so we're all delighted that you had such a good holiday and I'm sure that the, all the other people who had a holiday enjoyed their time also on their weekends. Lucky them, I'd love a weekend away somewhere. Now, there's, I want to wish a very speedy recovery to Eta Creedon of Ashgrove in Newcastle, West County, Limerick. And this wish comes with love to you, Eta, from all in Church Street in Newcastle West. Now, there's a request for Mrs. Nancy O'Brien and also Josephine O'Brien, who live at 113 Kennedy Park, Ross Gray, County Tipperary. And this request comes with love from Evelyn, John and Lisa Butler in Brophy Terrace, Ross Cray. And finally, there are three very, very important people that I've been asked to include, and I mustn't forget them. There's Mrs. Cronin of Kinnard in... Legan, County Longford, and Mrs. L. Donnelly, who lives at the same address, and also a very, very special old gentleman, and he's Kieran Gran of Crochet, or Crochet, I'm not quite sure, Edgeworthstown, and love to you all from Maureen Dolan. And the song that I've chosen for you this week, Moonlight on the Shannon River. <laughs> With my lover I did roam Moonlight on the Shannon River In dreams you ever call me home There's a spot in County Clare Sure my heart was always there Down where the Shannon meets the sea its golden glow I can hear its waters flow bringing memories ever dear to me moonlight on the Shannon River brings to me a thousand thrills moonlight sailing through the shadows I did roam Moonlight on the Shannon River In dreams you ever call me home Thank you very much indeed, Anne, and uh, of course, thank you, Jim, for the accompaniment, and we'll be calling on you before the end of the program again, Jim. Now, let's, while we're on a musical note, let's turn to a lady who's looking terribly serious. Mrs. Walker, why are you looking so serious? Mrs. Walsh. Watch. Mrs. Walsh? Yeah. Mrs. Walsh. We all make mistakes, don't we? I beg your pardon. <laughs> You're the music teacher, aren't you? That's right. Now, how many people actually from this group would you teach music to? Well, I don't teach anybody from this group. Not from this particular group um, itself? 
You've got a musician sitting alongside you, haven't you? Yes. He Is doesn't he any need good? Any tuition. Oh, he's perfect. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> he's a marvelous. fiddler, isn't he's he? He's a marvelous traditional fiddler, yes. A traditional fiddler, yeah. Have you got the violin with you, Pat? Yes. You have, and you're yeah. going to play for us in a moment, yeah. aren't you? Could we have a look at it? Can you take it out of its case there? Sure. Imagine it. How long has that been in your possession now, that particular one? Oh, it's been my possession, it was for the last 50 years or maybe more. And, and whose was it before that? And they couldn't exactly tell you. Yeah, I mean, was, was it handed down within the family? No, and I bought it off of a man, it was a neighbour of mine. Was. Would you have any idea what you might have paid for that 50 years ago? I wouldn't know well what I paid for it. You nearly took the head off the <laughs> woman in front of you. <laughs> did you see the hair going up like that? Right <laughs> Just like that. You'd never think what I did give her. <laughs> yeah? Go on. Turkey shillings and old money. Oh my <laughs> God. Isn't that extraordinary? Yeah. Well, then, who, 50 years ago, you'd have been, you'd have been a young, a, a pretty young garçon, wouldn't you? I was one of your garçons, I think. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> but you were a younger garçon yeah, 50 Gosson's years heart. ago. Garçon's heart. How, really how old are you now? Huh? How old are you now? Uh, 66. <laughs> so you'd have been 16 when you got that? That's right, yeah. Now, did anybody ever actually teach you it, or did you take Nobody it Nobody ever stuff? taught me. <laughs> what about Jimmy? Well, Jimmy Riley used to give me an old Listen, who wears the trousers in that family? <laughs> Can't get a word in edgewise with that woman. Are you going to play something for us? Yeah. Will you go on then? Can, can, can you play sitting down? Or do you want to stand up? I could play a bit sitting, I wouldn't go know. On, then. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is the technical bit now, is it? <laughs> technical piece, yeah. <laughs> You know, you make me feel quite envious that you can do... I would love to be able to do something like that or to do something like that as well. How many airs or tunes would you say you have in your head? Oh, thousands is right. Would you? I wouldn't be able to remember them, you know, but over the years, yeah. I, have, I suppose I would have a lot of them in there. And I suppose with that number, it would be impossible to remember all the names That's as well. That's true, yeah. Would they have been handed down, I mean, from you listening to other people or people coming to your home or whatever? Well, both ways, you know. Yeah. People coming to play at the house and listening to people playing over the years, you Yeah. Know? Now, what, one of the sad things, I think, is that uh, in these times, the getting together of people, for example, in, in farmhouse kitchens or country kitchens for a sing-song or a dance or the crossroads, that seems to have disappeared, and that's has sad, isn't has it? It disappeared completely. Yeah. Yeah. Th th does that make you regret well, that, uh, you know, things that we call development are taking right. place? It doesn't appeal to me at all that, well, if what goes on nowadays wouldn't be in white class at all, you know. I know. It'd be more yeah. in the group system now. Yeah. Would the other thing, of course, is that conversation seems to have died from yeah. television, yeah. doesn't it? That's well? gone, yeah. yeah. But thank God singing hasn't. No. Now you're all ready to go, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> let's hope so. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you're Mrs. Turner, and you're from Edgewood yes. as well. And how long have you been singing? All your life? Well, I've been singing. I was trained to sing for two years by a Father Frank Turner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was going for confirmation then. I yeah. was only 12 year old. Yeah. And I've been singing ever since. You've been singing ever since. And you're going to sing now as well. Yes. Now, the thing is, what's, what shatters me is I would have expected a County Longford song or an Irish traditional song. And you take a Scottish song. Well, I can sing an Irish song. Ah, but to, we, we talked to Jim already. We can't put him really <laughs> now on the, on the spot. You're going to sing, what, what is the name of it again? Yeah, I sang, when, when I... Believe it or not, I went to England in April. 
I'll go and uh, I was asked to sing a song. Yeah. And at that time, I didn't know that These Are My Mountains was a Scottish ah, song. Ah, OK. And the woman, the woman turned round and she said to me, why not sing an Irish song? Yeah. Well, listen, stick to the Scottish one now anyway. This is the... Th because yeah, Jim has it in his head as well. And if anybody knows the core... What? <laughs> we'll see anyway. So in your own time, love, you start off. For fortune, I've wandered the earth, and now I've returned to the land of my birth. I brought back my treasures, but only to find they left in the flesh. For these are my mountains, and this is my glen, the days of my childhood, I see them again, no land's ever claiming, so far have I I think you might be forgiven for singing a Scottish song. <laughs> I think you might. Jim, Sorry thank you very that. much indeed. And thank you for all of you for joining in the chorus. You, sir, will you get your bow and your violin ready while I make a little move this way because I want you to uh, play us out in a moment. Just want to take a look at some of the uh, lovely handcraft. This is all made by yourselves, is it? Oh, he said yes. nearly falling over the wire. What, what would you call that now? That belongs to this old lady. She all this in there. In, she it belongs to you? Yes, Did you actually she... make it? Yes. Did you? Yes. How long would that have taken you? Oh, about six months. Did it? In it's the evening, very, it's very only. beautiful. And that's for a baby, is it, or for a young no, girl? Bigger ones. I see. Mm. Okay, and here we've got this lovely uh, Aaron jumper as well. Who made that? Is the uh, maker of that here? You made that. How long would that have taken you? A month. A cardi, an Aaron yeah. cardi. It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely trays and everything, and the beautiful handwork on the embroidery. I, I, will all the embroiderers put your hands up? Well done, well done. Well, I think it's terrific altogether. It's been lovely having you here as an audience. And uh, we're going to get Pat, are we? Yes, we're going to have some uh, music accompaniment from the music teacher and Pat on the uh, piano. Just before we go, I just want to remind the viewers that uh, Hilary Shannon has been on to us to say that the Retirement Planning Council of Ireland are beginning to hold a whole series of lectures. So if you keep your eye on the papers, you'll find out where the dates and the times are. And I think that you may well learn something, hello. Are you off? That's a, <coughs> you, may, you may learn something to your benefit there. But uh, 
So I'm going to hand over to the musicians, to the people of Edgewood Thank you very much indeed, each and every one of you. And I hope that you'll join looking good once again very soon. Goodbye to you. <laughs> Thank you.